posting that photo of tacos to Instagram with sausage and local pork and you know potatoes, scallions. Tacos are a big thing. I hashtag tacos. I hashtag Austin. People who are just on Instagram farting around type in tacos. My photo comes up and they go, man, that looks good. They check out some of my other photos and they quickly decide, man, he posts food photos, he posts photos of like cats and dogs, and then, whoa, he teaches the Thai massage? The creator of Reboot, what's that? And they can click on my website and go to it. Now, it doesn't mean that that person is gonna purchase from me, but what it does is it increases my website traffic. Mm -hmm. Maybe they do live locally. Maybe they found me because the hashtag was Austin. They're like, I gotta follow this guy, he's active, he's doing things. Well then, I'm on Instagram, and then I'm on Instagram, I post a photo of my Snapchat icon because I'm trying to get them to follow me on another mm -hmm. platform which yeah. provides other options. It's a want. Yeah. They don't need photos of tacos. Well, who doesn't mm -hmm. like to look at photos of tacos? Right. What do people, people watch the Food Network? Right. Food porn. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> the thing is, it, it also just increases my level of personality. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah, you can study Thai massage or other kinds of body work with other teachers, but they're not posting photos of their tequila shots while they're making those breakfast tacos. Right. Because if you're into those sorts of things, I'm the guy you would study with because you feel a kinship with me in the same way that if anybody right now was going to run like a business school and say, hey, sign up, Gary V would be the guy I would pay. Yeah, exactly. And why, and why would I pay Gary V? Because you like him, you like what he's saying. Because he made free stuff. Yep. Because he answered a want that I had, mm -hmm. and he was talking about business from an angle that I needed. Yep. I want to say that. And he establishes his own personality because yep. he cuts through the shit, he uses a curse word now and then, he's very Not upright, <laughs> but, but yeah, he's, he's relaxed, he's not always dressed in a suit. He is the businessman who is my age, looking at the market the way I look at the market, and I resonate with his world view exactly. and how social media yep. has influenced business. Yep. And I'm like, Gary Vee's my friend. Never met him. Yep. Never met him. Exactly. But you feel like he's your friend because you've seen him on the videos, you see the way he presents himself and you're like, yeah, I can hang out with you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And it's, it's, it's a want, you know, in the digital age, you're just giving people content and you get a chance to test what do people want? Yes. What do they want to see? What do they want to interact with? Yeah. Uh, Facebook on a large scale is collating all of that information. Mm -hmm. they're, they're organizing all of that information, which yeah. is where you get Facebook ads and then drawing people who are looking for whatever it is you do. Yeah. Like if you do uh, you massage, particularly for the yoga community, mm -hmm. Facebook already has the information. You're just paying for the pipeline. Exactly. They've already collated all the data. They yeah. know who's interested in yoga in your area. Yeah. Down to region, down to interests, and they go, okay, send up the ad to these people. Yeah. And even down to who is most, depending on what you're trying to be, um, what the response you're trying to get, whether it's to go to a website, to click on a link, that they know even down to that level who is most likely to do that. And because I, I was looking at a Facebook, you know, setting up a Facebook ad the other day, I'm like, wow, they know way too much. <laughs> but you know, yeah. they have that information. This is information that nobody had 20 yeah. years ago. Yep. Yeah. And that sort of specific, you know, target marketing, that's where with you, uh, massage for mature adults, those mature adults currently are not using it. Exactly. But it's coming. Yeah. As the, as the younger mature adults, because the baby boomers, they're, they're the first generation that really started interacting with computers as much as as we do. So, you know, there will come a time, I figure in about five to ten years, my business will have to be a lot more computer, internet-based business, you know, marketing, because that's where the people are going to be. Right now, what I have works. And, and that's one of the things about knowing your target market, what might change, what's going on with them, and making sure you're ready for that change. And that's why, that's one of the reasons, you know, I do have the website, because number one, you know, when you're running a business, you want to look professional. Yeah. So you got the website, I'm starting to, um, 
investigate Facebook and other social media. I mean, I even have, I do have a Facebook page for In Your Home Senior Massage. And I do have a few followers, but it's not, you know, it's not as big an entity because, again, that's not where most of my clients are. Yeah. But that will change over time. Uh, when I had a client yesterday, the, the client was 13. Her mother was here with her, bringing her in. There had been a small car accident. And when I spoke with them, the mother worked in media kind of marketing. And I asked her if she had a Snapchat. And she's like, no. And I'm working on her 13-year-old daughter. And I said, you're on Snapchat, aren't you? And she's like, yeah, all my friends are on Snapchat. Yeah. And the thing is, she's 13. And in seven years, when she gets out of high school and decides she wants to be a massage therapist, who's she going to come study with? You. And that, that is exactly it, because the technology is ramping up. Yeah. The technology is going to continue to shift, and it's just giving me another portal of communication, which I yeah. decide to use to draw traffic, to draw interest. Exactly. Yeah, it's... You know, it's not, I do this and I get this client. It's, I do this, I do this, I do this, I help some people along the way, I build my name, I build my reputation, and then when those people who are ready to either come get work from me or take a class, whatever, they've already gotten to know you over a certain period of time. Yeah. To go to the point where I'm completely broke, to where I'm taking other massage therapists and trying to pull them along with me. Yeah. Has been completely revelatory. Yeah. To be able to, to work through that process. And I see it in the massage entrepreneurs group. Because I can tell people to follow me and they don't. Because mm -hmm. they don't, it's too much energy. There's, it's like, well, I can't get clients that way. And it's like, but here's the thing. The other day I went to Lauderstein Conway, they had a job fair. Yep. Right before I went into the event, I got on Snapchat and I said, hey, if you're here at Waterstein Conway and you follow me on Snapchat, contact me and I'll give you a 15% off coupon code for any of my materials. Mm -hmm. Nobody mentioned me. Yeah. Why? Because they weren't on Snapchat. They're not on Snapchat. Don't forget to subscribe, yo. <laughs>